The Makwa chameleons are very unique in a few different ways. This is the only desert adapted chameleon in the world out of more than 200 species which occur throughout Africa, into the Mediterranean, Arabic Peninsula, Sri Lanka, India. On the island of Madagascar alone is about 100 species, so more than 200 in the world. In Namibia, we only have two of those. So this one, you will find lives on the smaller shrubs and on the ground in the gravel plains of the Namib Desert, just, just going into these beautiful dune fields. They are unique in, like I said, many ways, but the main thing that people know about chameleons is the ability to change color. The main reason for changing color for this species is thermoregulation. So that means to warm up or to cool down. So early mornings when the sun is rising, they'll face one side of the body to the sun, turn it dark or black to attract the heat to warm up. After that, like now when the sun is above, they'll start turning lighter colors to reflect the heat to avoid overheating. They are unique in the way that they have individual eye movement. So that's 180 degrees horizontal vision, 90 vertical, and it's still not known to science or to scientists today how the chameleon can calculate two images at one time, a very large brain capacity. And then they're also clever the way they lay the eggs. The females will distribute the eggs in pockets. They won't lay all the eggs in one basket, so to speak. They will lay three or four eggs in a hole, go a few hundred meters down the road, dig another hole, lay another three or four, and they will continue to do this until they are empty. The reason for that is to ensure more success for the species. But in the way that they lay, only three or four get eaten, the others perhaps survive. So from 10 eggs that hatch, only two should reach adult size, which is maximum of about 30 centimeters with the tail spread out. Another thing that they're unique and known for is their ability to hunt with their tongue. So the chameleon's tongue is as long as the body and the tail together. It's stored in the throat like a spring-loaded or concertina mechanism. It's pushed out by force, and that force is up to 50 Gs, which is about five times faster than a fighter jet. Their main prey items out here would be all the tok toki species, the darkling beetles. There's more than 200 throughout the Namib, to different species. And they have to eat on a daily basis. They have a very fast metabolism. They'll go to the toilet three to four times a day just so they can eat again.